This is the Locker Room on News 3. Well, the number of teams still in the hunt for state titles is dwindling by the week. Who from Hampton Roads is heading to regional finals? We're all over that tonight. Thanks so much for making the locker room part of your Friday night here. We're going to start up in Williamsburg, where two teams on lengthy winning streaks meeting for a trip to the 3A title game. Zach Staten just back from Williamsburg. And Zach, you got to see one heck of a playoff for the game tonight, no? a lively environment at Warner Stadium. Lake Taylor and Lafayette have combined to win their last 17 straight games going into the Region 3A semifinal matchup. And tonight, someone continues their winning streak into a title game. The other goes home empty-handed. <laughs> So who gets it done? Titans operating like a well-oiled machine to start this one out. Up 6-0. Tari in Washington. Jacobs gets the screen pass. He's got his sight sets on fulfilling his reservations for six. 71 yards to the house. 14-0. And he's accounted for both touchdowns with second quarter. You know the Rams weren't going to let this one go easy. Hayden, Ole excuse me, Hayden Oleski lines it up for the Navy commit. Jalen Pretlow, he goes 69 yards for the touchdown. Leads down to seven. Lake Taylor says anything you can do, I can do better. Jameer Sporty Freeman lofts it up for Justin Edwards, who just finds the pylon. It's 21-7, favor of Lake Taylor. Right before the break, one more punch for the home team. They get it out to Elijah Matthews, what looked like a double pass. Instead, he weaves and bulldozes his way down to the one-yard line, punching it on the next play. 21-14 going to the half. Rams cut it to 21-20 after a touchdown and a block extra point, but Lake Taylor did just enough to hold on. Marquise Drew Rogers goes up the middle for the touchdown in the fourth quarter, makes it 27-20. Lafayette couldn't score in its final drive, and the Titans win their eighth straight game, 27-20, to make a region title appearance. We fought hard. They played their hearts out. Um, I thank them for that. We ain't never give up. When we are up by one, they kept pushing, and we got it rolling. They're resilient. They, they, they've been through a lot during the pandemic time, and uh, they bounced back. And uh, we've been on the road. We only had three home games this year, so being on the road all year helped us tonight. This will be the fourth time in the last four years Lake Taylor plays for a region crown. Now, who do the Titans get in that game? It's either Phoebus or IC Norcom. We'll find that out a little later in the locker room, Mark. All right, Zach, thanks very much. Well, meanwhile, three weeks ago, Oscar Smith and Western Branch playing to a bizarre 2-0 Tigers victory. Tonight, the two meeting with higher stakes, this time with a trip to the 6A title game on the line. Oscar Smith, of course, back-to-back -back state champs. Tigers down 14-7 in the third and looking for a drive, but Jamari Parker stepping in front of the pass. This will go for a pick six, 21-7 Bruins. To the fourth now, Oscar Smith looking for a spark. Parker Lancaster scrambling, looking downfield, but Paul Billups comes up with the interception. He'll put together a nice return down to the Tiger 23-yard line. Bruins looking to pull off the stunner, and Billups will finish the job on the other end. Keep it in himself, 15-yard score. Western Branch heading to the Region 6A title game, 28-14. Bruins head to Manchester next week. To Region 5A, Cox and Kempsville in a rematch of a 14-10 Chiefs win. Here's the two plays that sum up this game. The last play of the third quarter, Falcon quarterback Kate Gage Treffrey looks deep, only for the ball to be picked off by the Chiefs junior safety, Mavoy McGodfrey. First play of the fourth now. Here's Chiefs running back Justin Joyner running right at you, then past you on his way to the end zone. 75 yards, Kempsville rolling in this one, 39 to 12, your final score. Still ahead, unbeaten Phoebus looks to keep its march going. Could the Phantoms get a meeting with Lake Taylor next week? We're back after this. Welcome back to the locker room, everybody. Phoebus has been a buzzsaw this season. Not only is their offense revving on all cylinders, but in 11 games, the Phantoms have only given up a combined 27 points as they hope for back-to-back -back state crowns. I see Norcom, the team looking to slow down Phoebus tonight, pick it up in the first quarter out in Hampton. Tyreon Taylor gets the Phantoms on the board with a short touchdown run out of the backfield. It's 7-0 Phoebus early in the second quarter. Nolan James decides to keep it himself. He'll weave his way in for the score. The Phantoms open up a 14 
14-0 lead. The ensuing drive, the defense steps it up now. Malik Ruffin blanketing his man and comes up with the interception for the Phantoms defense. Big play there because it's going to end up leading to this. Jordan Bass on the end around the Pittsburgh commit dashes 25 yards, dives his way in over the goal line for the touchdown. Phoebus is still perfect after, after this one, a 42-0 win. Phantoms host Lake Taylor next week. To Region 4, a top-seeded Warwick hosting Churchland. Raiders holding on to a 14-7 lead in the fourth quarter. When it comes down to Ian Bacon deciding to give himself some cushion, weaves through some defenders and takes off long touchdown run, makes it 21-7 Warwick. Later, the Truckers defense trying to give him a chance. Terrence Lamb goes up to tally off the pick. Churchland gets the ball back, trying to build momentum, but the Raiders defense says, I can do that too. Brandon Hillman looking to air it out and make something happen, but it's Davi Davion Corpening coming up with the interception. The Raiders are heading to the region title game. 21-7 is your final. Warhill and Kings Fork meeting for the right to face Warwick next week down in Suffolk. First quarter, Cam Butler scrambling, looks downfield and finds Aiden Lewis, who makes a spectacular grab for the big gain and a first down. And that would lead to this. Butler finding Keontae Bumpers, who stays in bounds for the touchdown. That would set the stage for a Bulldogs roll as they go on 43-8 into the title game, Mark. All right, Zach was the top seed over in Region 5B. Maury earning a first round bye in the playoffs. Tonight, the Commodores back on the field as they hope to begin a march back to the state championship game. Maury seeing upset-minded Menchville tonight at Palatan Field. Commodores wasting no time driving down the field. This Peyton Jones short yardage touchdown puts them in front 7-0 right off the bat. Next drive, this time Maury going to the air. Mario Miller, perfect pass to LeBron Bond, who's right there on the other end. Home team doubling its advantage to 14-0. The defense strong tonight as well for the Commodores. Monarchs looking for a spark, but Maury forcing the fumble. Kendall Daniels heads up play to recover. No rust after a week off for Maury. 37-0 the final. Battle of the Warriors on the other side of the bracket, Nanzman River and Kikitan. 14-7 Kikitan, but here come the home Warriors. All Kendrick Overton looking deep for Terrell Douglas. Great catch there. That sets up this. Nanzman River powering into the end zone here. This your game tying score. Knotted up at 14 late in the fourth. So three minutes left. Nansman River gets the ball back. Overton threads the needle to Nasir Holland. Makes a great catch there. That's your game winner. Nansman River gets Maury next week after the 21-14 win. Still ahead, Pocosin hitting the road in hopes of keeping the season going. Could the Bull Islanders stay alive in Class 2? We're back after this. Bands sound the good, unfortunately for them. The Tigers falling tonight to Western Branch. Well, Pocosin getting to the playoff sack has become the standard. 2006, the last season the Bull Islanders did not reach the postseason. Tonight, they can punch their ticket to the region title game. The Islanders in Richmond to face Thomas Jefferson. Pocosin down 14-9 in the third. Adonis Stowers on the kickoff return. He'll field it, using his blockers, get free, and take it all the way to the house, outrunning everybody to pay dirt. Pocosin goes back in front, 15-14. TJ would kick a field goal to take the lead, now trying to run the clock down, but look at this. Vikings fumble, Deshaun Stovall scooping it up. He'll dash all the way back for the score. Islanders stun TJ, 21-17. They get King William in the Region 2A final next week. State titles on the line tomorrow in the private circuit. That includes Atlantic Shores going for back-to-back -back crowns. The Seahawks hit the field to face top seed at North Cross in the BISAA Division II title game. Shores 7-1 on the season, holding off Nanzim and Suffolk last week in the semis. That victory avenging the Seahawks' lone loss of the campaign. Kickoff is set for 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon at North Cross. And Zach, also the night green run, yep. nipping Salem 21-13. We had that game in here, technical issues, so we couldn't show it, but they win. That was a 42-10 game earlier. Yep. And so the fact that Salem made it that close of a game against a green run team that has not been beaten all year, very good showing from the Sun Devils. We have some exciting region finals next week. Thanks so yep. much for joining us tonight. For Zach, I'm Mark. Have a great night, everybody.